welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm Tanelia. In today's video, we are going to be doing two more looks using the new Artistry Attire Palette from Perfusion. I did do an initial first impressions, but I did get some requests to do a couple more looks with it so you guys can uh, see some more of the shades and make a decision on whether or not you would like to get this palette. So that is what we're going to be doing today. Once again, I do not want to ramble too much in this opening, so let's go on ahead and jump into putting together our or two looks. Let's jump right into doing look number one. I've already done my bronzer and I used once again Deep Sculpt which was the first one that I used in the um, reveal video and you guys I am really loving it. I think I kind of went a little bit heavy with it today. <laughs> Looks like we sculpted a little bit more than I usually do but I like it. It's a really really good bronzer. It's really pigmented. You want to go in with a light hand but I really do love the way that it blends out on the skin and it is it's a perfect tone for me. I am loving it. All right so let's jump into blush. The blush that we're going to use is Lover, which is this really pretty pink right here. This one is the one that I used in that reveal video. So we're going to go with this one today. I'm wanting to do kind of a smokier look, so we're going to be focusing on these blues down on the bottom here but let's go ahead and throw on blush this isn't my first time using the lover shade i used it in just kind of an everyday everyday look that i did earlier in the week and i think it is such a pretty pink it has a very very slight glue to it. it's kind of a satin matte not a full-on matte i feel like it's just the perfect spring summery pink tone the brush that I'm using, this is from AOA Studio from Shop Miss A. It is the F12, and it, I just feel like this is the perfect blush brush. All right, so I'm moving into highlighter, and I'm going to be using my highlighter brush from Chic Pro. I think I want to stick with the pinkier shades, although I can't remember the shade that I wore in the first look. I'll have to go back and check that out, but I'm going to go with Enchanted, this pinkier shade right there. I'm just going to start going on the cheeks. Oh, that's definitely pink. Do you see that? That is definitely got a pink glow to it. Whoa, yeah, that is pink. Oh, that's so pretty. It's kind of like a fairy kind of a highlight. Like if you're going for, say, a fairy festival type look, this would be perfect. Oh, my word, that is gorgeous. I'm just going to go back in with my blush brush and just kind of blend it all together so we don't have a giant pink streak going on our cheek but my word that's so pretty it's very iridescent i am loving how that's looking Ooh, i'm going to prime my eyelids real quick using my color pop eyeshadow primer in caramel and then we're going to jump into putting together this smokier look I'm going to take this fluffy blending brush and I think I'm going to dip into Falling. Do I want to go into Falling? I'm sorry, not Falling, Habit. This shade right here, which is a lighter taupe, and I'm just going to kind of lay that all over the lid. So if any of you guys picked up this palette yet, if you have, let me know down in the comments what your experience has been with it so far because I'll tell you right now, so far I have been enjoying it. For $25, I think it's a really good good palette. I mean, you get a decent amount of products in here. It's really, really nice. In the pan, this shade is looking like very taupey, kind of a tan caramel, but on the eyelid, there is like a little bit of a pink undertone to it, which is good for this look. And that blended out like a dream. I'm going to go in with my crease brush. And what shade do I want to go in with next? I just want to kind of deepen it up a little bit before we go into that shade on the bottom. Let's go with Equinox. This kind of a grayish blue right there. We're going to lay that in our crease. Once again, I'm using my little pointed crease brush from Real Techniques. I feel like this does such a good job of just carving right into that area. If you have smaller lid space, your eyes are more hooded. I mean, look at that. Brushes like this, perfect for that. And that blended in really, really quickly. I mean, wow, that was fast. I think that was one of the fastest blends I have ever done. We're just gonna go back and forth in a windshield wiper motion and just kind of swirl on the outer corner. This shade has more of a kind of grayish purple very very pretty and blending out like a dream i'm kind of taking it out a little bit further from the corner of my eye just to kind of give it a little bit more of a what's the word i'm looking for of a wing 
Now I'm going to go into my Beauty Bay Detail Brush here, and we're going to go into Promises, which is this rich, deep blue. And I'm just going to focus that on the outer corner, and that's pretty much going to be it for our mats. Lightly tap that into the corner, and then just start blending. Wow, that is so pretty. It's like pigmented, but not like overly pigmented. It's giving me like just the right amount. I have to say I'm extremely impressed by how quickly this look came together. For someone who's like a beginner who's not used to working with like fussier shadows, this would definitely be perfect. The way everything just blends so quickly you don't really have to think about it and you don't really have to fuss with it too much. I mean look at this. Look at that. Came together so fast. I'm going to add just a tiny bit more here just to kind of build it. I'm going back in with just a little bit more Equinox just to kind of carve a little bit more right in here. I am loving how quickly those mattes blended out. All right, now to jump into our shimmers. I think I'm going to go into Apollo, which is right here. This shade Hypnotize is what I used in that first look, and it's such a beautiful, shifty, like metallic looking shade. And I think I'm going to do Apollo, which is kind of a bronzier tone. I think that might work with this smokier look. This flat brush right here, we're just going to dip in. I have a feeling that this shade is not going to have as much shine as the Hypnotize shade, and that's perfectly fine. So I'm just going to take this and start laying it on the lid. Oh, that is pretty. That is a beautiful kind of like bronze pewter type hue to it. Oh, that looks pretty. It's not like super, super glossy or super wet, but I think the amount of shine that I'm getting with it is pretty good. I am going to go in it with my finger. It is super creamy, just like the shades that I used when I did the kind of first impression video. Ooh, that is so pretty. I'm going back in with just a tiny bit of Promises. You know, we like to make sure that our mattes are nicely blended and kind of merging into the shimmer in the outer corner so we don't have any harsh lines. I'm going to take this Eloise pointed brush and we're going to go into No Clue right there. And that's going to be our inner corner highlight. So we're just going to take it and just kind of swirl it in the inner corner. Very pretty. That has just a slight like pinky kind of a purpley shift to it. I am going back in with just a tiny, tiny bit more Equinox. I don't know, I really just kind of want that outer corner to really be winged. Ooh, so pretty. Now for our liner, and I am going to use one of these water activated liners again, and we're just going to do the black. I want to try this one, but I think I'm going to do that in the second look with this video, because that one's going to be more of a neutrally look. I think with this look, it's just not going to show it very well, so we're going to go back in with the black. And I actually have a smaller, like, kind of tiny pencil brush or liner brush for this. When I did my last brush to clutter, I forgot that I took a lot of the brushes and I just put them downstairs with my craft area to maybe use for like painting or something like that. My daughter pulled out the brushes that she liked and then the rest of them, that's kind of what I did. And I actually had a couple of these brushes down there. So I'm going to dip this in water and then we are going to see if it works better with this one because I, I had those like little flat angle brushes last time and they worked okay but not great and i'm going to use my hand mirror because i kind of got to get closer to my eye to really see what i'm doing all right right off the bat i am definitely seeing that the tiny brush is working much better than those angle brushes were working i got a little bit right there i'm going to go ahead and fill in the lash line on this side first and then we will do the wing had to pull my mirror in just a little bit so I can do this. Okay, and all right, definitely easier, definitely quicker using this 
very fine detailed liner brush. All right, I'm going to finish the other eye off camera. I'm going to throw my lash or something on my lips and my waterline, and then we will come back and see the final look. We are back with our final look complete. And what do you guys think? I am loving the way that the look came together. This was only my second time ever using a water activated liner, but so far I am really, really loving it. I'm looking forward to trying out the blue one in the next look. All right, let me give you guys my details of what I use to complete the look for my waterline. I'm using one of the waterproof protection lip and eyeliners. This is from Davis. I got this off of Timu. Germany style is the shade. It's just a really pretty metallic blue. I thought that would really bring out my eyes with this eye look. My lashes are for my Ani. These are the Whispering Natural Flare um, 3D Faux Mink Lashes. And for my lips, I went a little bit brighter with this look. I don't know. I just wanted something a little bit brighter. Usually I would go with something a little bit more nude, but I don't know. I just kind of wanted to go all out and show a little bit more flair with this look, I guess, if that makes any sense. My liner, my lip liner rather, this also came from Timu. This is from Depol. The shade is in Possessive. It's a really pretty pink and I love these pencils. They twist up so you never have to worry about having to sharpen them. And then my overall lip color is from AOA Studio. It's one of the Velvet Lips in Chris. All right, so that is going to be the end of look number one. Let's move into look number two. Welcome to look number two. I've already done the base product, so bronzer, blush, and highlight I've already done. I went with the medium sculpt bronzer today, and I'm really liking just the kind of subtle warmth that it gave me. It's not super pigmented like this one. It didn't go on like super heavy it was much easier to build up and blend out. And this is just a really pretty, like, warm, everyday bronzer. I'm really, really liking how that's looking. For blush, I went into Vulnerable, which is this really pretty cool toned purple. I'm loving the way that it looks on the cheek. Like, it looks heavily pigmented here, but it went on very lightheaded, so it was easy to build. So, like, if you're someone that is newer to makeup, you don't have to worry about a super heavy pigmented blush right off the bat. You can slowly build it up. And then the highlighter that I use is exceptional. This one right here. And overall, I'm liking how the complexion is looking. So let's dive into putting together our eye look. I'm going to prime my eyelids with my Party Proof eyeshadow primer from ColourPop and Caramel. I'm starting to get to like the bottom of this. I'm really, really liking it. So I think once I use it up, I am going to go ahead and repurchase it. As far as the eyeshadow look, I'm wanting to go with something a little more neutral because I am wanting to try out the blue water activated liner today. So let's start off with Cinema, which is this really pretty kind of a toasty brown thing. We're just going to lay that all over our lid. I'm just going to use this fluffy blending brush for that. This one has a little bit of micro glitters in it. It's kind of like those sequin mattes like ColourPop has. They're not my favorite formula, but the actual glitter particles tend to like just kind of dust away pretty easily so you're not left with heavy glitter on your eyelids. Yeah, see, you don't see the glitter at all. It's just a really pretty warm matte, which is ironic because I'm using a warm eyeshadow base with a cooler toned blush, but it's okay. It'll work out. It'll look good. I just really, really wanted to try another blush shade, something different from the ones that I've already tried. The only way to get a really good feel of a palette is to try different things in the palette. So as many different shades, many different formulas as I can try, that's what I want to do for you guys so we can get a really good well-rounded review. That blended beautifully. It's more neutral than it is warm, which is really good since I do have a cooler toned blush on. For my crease shade, I'm going to go into Tough right here. That's more of a kind of granite-y neutral. I think that'll work really well to just deepen this area. Just really want to add just a little bit more depth. Very simple, very quick, very easy. One of the things that I have really been loving about this palette is how quickly the shadows blend. So it doesn't take much effort at all to get a really well put together look in a short amount of time. Just really swirling on that outer corner just to build up this area in the crease. And for the outer corner, I think I'm gonna go into, ooh, I don't know. I want something rich, something deep. I wanna go into Perfect Stranger, but I'm afraid that might overpower that blue liner. 
Yeah, if I do this one, you definitely won't be able to see the liner. I think it's just going to kind of overpower it and the liner just will not stand out. So instead, like I said, I'm
If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up. It really does help with getting my videos into recommendations. We're really trying to like grow our viewership over here, you know, our watch time, all that jazz. Make sure notifications are turned on so you do not miss any content coming up in the future. And you can also follow me on my other socials. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Be safe, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.